So in my last video, I got a pretty prominent question, and that was, what are those rabbit ears above the P2? Now, this is a small nifty feature that I'd like to share with you guys, because, well, it's something that you could brag with. If you ever have a friend and you're flying out with the P2 or you're playing a game and you see those or you maybe you're in a museum, you can point those things out and you can tell them what they're all about. Now, these don't exist on all the Peshkas. They only exist in some of the later versions, the later series of the aircraft. And they are essentially offspring of a lot of experimentation that was going on and how to ease the manual handling of the gun. So for this, I made a small little artistic version of the turret and the middle half of the cockpit. Now, as you can see, we are traveling to the left hand side of the screen here and the gun is nestled in its resting position that is pointing backwards. Now, as soon as you turn the gun to the left, the gunner has to overcome the resistance of the air rushing by the plane. Now, a very easy homegrown experiment where you can yourself experience this kind of resistance would be to put your arm out of your car as you're driving. Now, be careful that you don't hit anything, okay? Don't do this just willy-nilly, be careful. But as you put your hand out of your car, you are going to experience the same kind of resistance. And especially if you go fast, let's say you're on the German Autobahn, the glorious Autobahn, and you're driving, I don't know, 180 uh, kilometers an hour, you're going to, you know, that, that's going to be hard keeping your, your, your hand out there and pushing against that wind. Pretty much impossible to do that for a long time. However, the Peshka doesn't just fly at 180 kilometers an hour. I mean, that's approaching landing speed here. No, no, no. You are flying at 400 kilometers an hour. That means that Ivan has to have some serious muscle getting that gun and have it swing to the left or to the right. Never mind actually keeping it there and being able to successfully land hits on egg hacking aircraft. However, what the Russians did is quite nifty. Now, those little rabbit ears, those fins or weather vanes, whatever you want to call them, catch the air and they themselves counteract and equalize the resistance on the gun. Now the gun gets pushed of course towards the center as you're, as it's pointing outside but because of these veins turret itself gets pushed the other side. So there you have this nice little equilibrium between the two resists and the Russians experimented a lot and finally found the perfect solution, you know, the size of the veins, how to position them at what angle and so on. But with a very, very simple solution, they overcame this problem and they had their gunners being able to fire the, uh, the defensive armor without much problem. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little explanation of these so quote unquote rabbit ears. If you did, give me an iron cross via that like button or don't, that's fair enough as well. And if you found this video educational, if you want to show it off to your friends, feel free to share it with them. And as always, I hope you have a great day, good hunting and see you in the sky.